Hi, welcome, welcome to Smarts, Smarts and Crafts. This week, we're sitting down with Matt Heaney. Today, we're, we're making an egg drop competition. So, Mr. Heaney, can you tell us what you do here at the high school? Uh, I'm a teacher in the science department here at the high school. Um, this semester, I'm teaching all physics. Next semester will be all earth and space science. Have you always taught those two? subjects? No, so since I have been, this is my sixth year teaching at NHS, um, in that time I have taught physics, AP physics, chemistry, calculus, algebra 2, earth and space science, and then a topics in physics class. Um, other than that, in other places I have been a, um, I've taught earth science, environmental science, um, and physics. And math. So the basic idea is we're going to drop an egg from a set height and we want the egg to not crack. That is correct. Okay, so we want to minimize the force on our eggs. So what do you like to do outside of school? Um, so outside of school I have uh, two relatively young children, a three-year-old and a five-year-old. Um, so that takes up a good chunk of my time. Um, when, when I do have time outside of uh, work and parenting. Um, I like to be outside. I like to um, I like to swim. I like to ride my bike, and I run because I like to eat, um, and I want to continue to you know make it to 40 and beyond. I like to read when I'm awake at the end of the day. Um, but yeah, that that pretty much takes up most of my time. Have you always been a swimmer? Um, I was a swimmer starting pretty early on. I swam in high school. Um, I was um, one of only two people in my high school who was both on the swim team and on the football team. Um, well, the other guy was more of like a running back, so he was smaller, so it wasn't quite as you know dramatic a change. Um, but yeah, I do remember my freshman year of high school when our team was playing in the Eastern Mass Super Bowl, and I was going to swim practice. So I. Football season is long, like the football season stretches until December, um, and so the swim season starts um, often at the same, like there's an overlap. So I was going to football practice, and then after leaving football practice, going to a town swim team for practice. And my coach happened to show up at that practice because one of his kids was in it, and I think that's how I ended up getting playing time in the Super Bowl as a freshman. So <laughs> he's like, all right, I guess he's putting time in. I'm a fan of sports. Um, I do enjoy one of the things I like about living in Northampton and teaching in Northampton. Uh, this is the first time I've lived in the same town that I've worked in. Um, is that I do enjoy bringing my kids to the high school sporting events and they also very much enjoy that. Um, I was actually a college professor for a couple of years, uh, mostly doing adjunct work, teaching here and there. The thing I like about high school teaching is that you know, you're there every day, kids are there every day, you really have no choice but to get to know each other. What are some of the craziest things you've done? I'm not particularly crazy. One of the things I miss about living in, say like a big city like New York or something like that, is the chance to, like I could just basically go for a bike ride, go wherever I want and then find myself near a train station and take the train home. So like you could ride for hours and then just not worry about getting home. I'll just toss these in here for <laughs> for extra ballast. Um, I did a, something called the Brooklyn Bridge Swim, where you swim from Brooklyn to Manhattan underneath the Brooklyn Bridge. Um, and the East River is not um, a pristine body of water. It's probably the second grossest body of water I've ever gone swimming in. I wish I made my strings equal length. <laughs> So it looks like we both didn't take your advice and went for parachutes. Go for it. And you went for the... I went for the, yeah. Christian. All right, let's go drop these. Let's do it. Oh, that looks 
Mommy, you left me. Ew. That's really gross. All right. Mr. Heaney is the champion. If only they had had better physics teachers. <laughs> <laughs> I had you. <laughs> <laughs>